Because problem cannot stand where you exalt the preeminence of the Almighty, of the Creator, of the Redeemer, the assuring world of power and God's preeminence. Number two, the active walk into the performance of God's promises. Actually, when we come to the Lord, we literally walk into the performance, walk of faith. The work of assurance, knowing that this is what he has said, and you must fulfill it. And by your confession, by your thoughts, by everything that you think about, and by the way you act, the way you position yourself, you literally walk into the performance of miracle. Tonight, I said tonight, you walk into. The performance of the miracle. Number three is the activated wonder. Activated wonders. Wonder is there all the time. In the presence of God, wonder is there all the time. And But it's like a dog is sleeping. Everything is quiet, no backing, nothing at all until you activate and you wake up that dog. But when people say, let the sleeping dog lie, don't activate anything, don't do anything, don't command anything. Let things go on the way they have always gone then miracles will not be activated. Wonders will not be activated. But when you come and the faith in you that was dormant, that was sleeping, that was quiet, that faith activated, miracle must happen. And in the presence of God, as we come, we have activated wonders through the prayer we we'll pray in God's presence. Tonight is your night. The Lord will touch you. The Lord will turn everything around that had been dormant in your life in Jesus. Name. Look at number one. Look at number one there. Number one, the assuring word of power and God's preeminence, assuring word of power. In Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4, Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4, when, when the word of the king is, tell me, there is power, and who may say unto him, what doest thou? God is the king of kings, Christ is the king of kings, and when he speaks the word of forgiveness in your life, Nobody can ask him, what doest thou? When he speaks the word of healing, the word of deliverance into your life, when he speaks the word to move your mountain, no matter how long it's been there, nobody, no devil, no demon, no man can say, what doest thou? What does that mean? He has final authority. Over your problem, he has final authority. Over your sickness, he has final authority. Over your predicament, he has final authority. Because where the king is, there is power. You see here tonight, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. And because he's here, he is here as king. He is here as healer. He is here as redeemer. He is here as the mountain mover. And because he's here, he speaks. And where the word of the king is, there must be power manifestation in your life. In Jeremiah chapter 32, Jeremiah chapter 32. We're reading from verse 17. Ah, Lord God, behold thou hast made the heaven and the earth. If you could think about it, about that for some time, 
And then compare his power to the power that can heal you. The heavens and the earth, the stars, the sun, the moon, and all the planets in their different orbits. And they make them so orderly that they don't collide. And there is, there's no collision that will kind of explode anything here on earth. And he created the whole earth. And he created the seas, the ocean, everything in the proper uh, proportion. Think about that. And he creates all the, every blade of grass. And as you look at the blade of grass under a microscope, you see a wonderful, powerful symmetry and design. And this is the God that created, that made the heaven and the earth by his great power. When you think of that, then you understand if he can do that and he has done that in my life, there's nothing too hard for him. In your life, there's nothing too hard for him. By the way, do you remember how he created the heavens and the earth? He spoke one sentence. Let there be light Tell me, there was light. And all the creation of God with his word. He didn't have to go there for hundreds and thousands and millions of years trying to uh, evolve evolution. Trying to do this and that. He spoke, it was done. And your life tonight, he will speak. He will use the person you see in front of you has his microphone. But he seems talking to you. He seems speaking to you. And he speaks a word, your sins are forgiven. He speaks a word, your, your healing is guaranteed. I have it tonight. He says, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Look at verse 27. In verse 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Any flesh sitting down, standing there today? I said any flesh sitting or standing there today? Where are they? It's your God. It's your creator. It's your healer. It's your deliverer. The God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? And since you have said no, you'll find tonight nothing, no problem that you brought is ever going to be hard for him in Jesus' name. Look at um, point number two here. Point number two. It's the active walk into the performance of God's promises. When God makes a promise, he wants to fulfill the promise. He has a mind that is going to fulfill the promise. Has he made any promise of salvation? Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. That promise will be fulfilled for you. By his stripes, I am healed. You didn't say that properly. By his stripes, I am healed. Will you be healed tonight? If that thing is inside, leave her kidney problem, if that thing is inside, fibroid and cancer, if that thing is inside and you say, I feel it this way at the mention of the name of Jesus tonight, all your pain, all your sickness, everything gone in Jesus' name. We activate the work of faith. By what we say with our mouth, 
we activate faith by the way we think in our heart and we don't exaggerate the problem lift up the problem make the problem so big and our god so small no we begin to think about the power of god about the possibilities in god about the goodness of god about the promise of god and about the fact that our problem so to say they're so tiny like a little fly that even you can kill that fly and throw it away and all those flies of demonic oppression and the flies of sickness the flies of disease they are healed tonight you will feel it in your body the healing the deliverance and you say i've been hearing of miracles i got one i've been hearing of the people testifying i got mine confirm the, your life in jesus name and so he tells us in jeremiah chapter one reading from verse nine jeremiah chapter one reading from verse nine then the lord put forth his son and touched my mouth he'll touch your mouth i said he'll touch your mouth when he touches our mouths the things we used to say we don't say them anymore when he touches our mouth all the cannot cannot in our lives everything will evaporate away i cannot because i'm a little child that one will vanish away i cannot because i am sick that one will vanish away i can't do that because i am lame that one will vanish away and the lord then the lord put his hand and touched my mouth and the lord said unto me behold i have put my words in thy mouth i have put my words in thy mouth what does that mean i knew the word but it wasn't his mouth he learned the word it wasn't in his mouth he heard the word but it wasn't in his mouth when he had the word what he was speaking out was different from the word but now the lord said i have put my word in your mouth the meaning is that word is now there if you say it it will be done it's no more in the prophet's mouth, in the preacher's mouth, only in God's mouth is now in your mouth. Are you determined by pronouncing, by repeating the word in your mouth, I am healed? Heaven will confirm it. I am delivered. Heaven will confirm it. Now, you speak the word in your mouth, in your mouth, in your mouth. And you don't say, I'm dying. Be careful. You are not dying. You are living. Uncle died at this age. Cousin died at this age. Mama died at this age. I've got to the stage. I am going no that's not the word you put in your mouth speak the word that god has put in your mouth and revival will come to every part of your being in jesus name behold i have put my words not their words my words i have put 
my word, not your family's word, the doctor's word, the nurse's word, the medical exam word. You have the word higher than anybody is telling you you will live. You will be revived. And all those sicknesses and crawling things, they are off your life in Jesus' name. Look at verse 10. In verse 10, see, I have this day set thee over the nations. I have, tell me the next word, this day. You know our problem? We come to the revival. We come to the night of supernatural wonder. And he puts a word in our heart that we didn't have before we came. He puts a word in our mouth that we didn't have before we came. And he puts an authority, an anointing upon us that we didn't have before we came. But... The unfortunate thing is the people still go on saying what they were saying. When the Lord had not touched them, they go back to the past and the things they used to say and the things they used to do and the thoughts they used to think, they're still thinking the same thought. No, no, that's, that's not right. When he said, now, this day, I'm doing something to you that you didn't have before. Then you come up to that level. And you act and you stay the same at the level you ought to say, See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms. To root out. To root out. Anything that stands in your way, to root out. Anything that wants to say, who do you think you are? Well, he says, I am a new man. I have a new word in my mouth that was not there before. I have a new position, a new power. Who are you? I'm a man now, I'm talking for you. I'm a woman now, I'm talking for you of authority. That's all your amen. And so when you realize this is what I have done for you this day, you go out, you will root out. You will pull down. You will destroy every plant the heavenly father has not planted in your body, in your heart, in your business, in your profession, in your education, everything the heavenly father has not planted you'll not be calling on other people now the authority is with you root it out pull it down and destroy that thing and it is destroyed in jesus name and then to throw down you see all those things once you say this will not continue in my life. I wrote it out. <laughs> you know, people are uh, waiting there. Uh, people will not allow me to, you know, make progress. And they always put that stumbling block in my way. Why don't you wrote it out? Tonight, why don't you pull it down? Tonight, why don't you throw it down? Your life will be according to the plan of heaven. It will not be according to what somebody, you know, will not allow him to go beyond this point in education. Who is that? When we have the performance of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and the preeminent God has made us and he has said, this is where I am taking you. Anybody between you and that high point in your life? Rooted out tonight. Pulled down tonight. Destroyed tonight. 
the enemy will not determine the level you stop. God and you. God in you. You in Christ. Already, you have the power. Destroy them. And throw it down. And to build. You will build your life. You will build your family. It will build the work of your hand. I'm looking at you there. You will succeed. I said, you will succeed. Believe the word. Believe your own utterance. And believe what you say. And believe what you see. Youth choir tonight. God bless you. Yeah. As you sang, what a mighty God we serve. And you sang that nothing, absolutely nothing, is too hard for Him. You blessed the church. Let those same words bless you. Yeah. So that. You are not just lifting up other people. You yourself, by the song of your mouth, by the word of your mouth, you are lifted up in Jesus' name. And so, you have that word that says, He will make you build and make you plant. Look at verse 11. In verse 11, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? Every time you read the Bible, your quiet time, what seest thou? About yourself, about the world. Every time you come to the night of supernatural wonders, what seest thou? What do you see now? Do you see miracle coming your way? Do you see power in your life? Do you see authority that even the devil cannot contradict? Every time, every time, every time the question comes, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod and an almond tree. I see a rod of an almond tree. Your, your life will not remain a dry rod. It shall become a fruit-bearing rod and branch in Jesus' name. Your wife will not remain a dry rod. She will be a fruit-bearing wife in Jesus' name. Your son, your daughter, will not be a dry rod. Will not stop at the level of education where you stopped. No matter how far you went, how high you went, that your son will go beyond you. That your daughter will go beyond you. And nobody now, nobody now that you are spending your time with will be a dry rod. They'll be fruit bearing. I said they'll be fruit bearing. Look at verse 12. In verse 12, and then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast seen well. When I see a miracle coming my way, God says to me, Thou hast seen well. When I see the dry rod of the past becoming a fruit bearing rod, and He asked me, What do you see? And I say, I see fruitfulness. He said, You have seen well. Anybody see well there tonight? And it says, For I will hasten my word. My word to perform it. 
God will hasten his word to be performed in your life even tonight in Jesus name the word of salvation he'll perform the word of healing he'll perform the word of wonders he will perform in your life in Jesus name performance performance where will that performance be tonight really really re seriously not seriously where will the word be performed tonight confirmed in jesus name we're looking at number three here number three we're looking at the activated wonders through prayers in god's presence we are in god's presence and the lord will activate wonders in every life tonight in jesus name every promise that have been lying dormant there the lord will wake up that promise into your life tonight in jesus name everything he has injected into your life the goodness of god the power of god the great possibilities we have in god that have been there and you know it is sleepy somewhere there in your mind and if it can only wake up everything will become all right tonight in your life steady steadfast salvation in your life dynamic healing demonstrated healing wonders of deliverance activated in your life tonight in jesus name in the presence of god always there are wonders the ocean of wonders never dry up in the presence of God the great power for wonders never dries up in the presence of God uh, you know it's um, you know people that don't understand God they say the God of wonders what he used to do the God of power what he used to do no there is no past tense in God I said there's no past tense in God yesterday today and forever he makes his wonders to come alive in every life in jesus name uh, look at look at psalm 16 i'm reading from verse 11 thou will show me wonderful thou will show me i i wanted you to say that for yourself and you see those people in bible days that's how david killed goliath that's how the rod of moses opened the red sea that's how the rod brought water out of the rock because they personalized the promise of god and the performance came to them and they didn't say the lord will show us the lord will show them in the generation to come uh, when uh, after we have gone no at this time the lord will show me say it the lord will show me thou will show me the path of life not the path of death not the path of, of depression stress distress uh -uh. from tonight all that is gone the path of suffering sickness all that is gone the path of regrets and remorse and reproach uh -uh, that one tonight is gone thou wilt show me the path of life in thy presence in thy presence where are you tonight in thy presence i say where are you tonight 
You know, some people come to church and they say, I am under oppression. I am under sickness. I'm under a curse. In God's presence, can there be a curse that will remain? Tell me. In God's presence, can, can there be another power coming from any other place that will abide? No. Change your thought. Change your language. Your life will come from the bottom of the sea and come to the very top. You remember Jonah was right there down deep in the bottom of the sea. But when he said, salvation is of the Lord. And he said, I will remember and I will put my prayer, I will send my prayer to his throne. He came from the bottom, he came to the top. You are coming from the bottom. And the fish, even the fish, he couldn't eat him up. You know, the fish just uh, discovered, uh, look at this, uh, this one will be sweet meat. Your, your body will not be sweet meat in their mouth. And couldn't even hurt him. And Jonah did not have to go for, you know, rehabilitation somewhere. After it came out of that fish, when you live here, you don't need any other rehabilitation. Everything has taken place. And so, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. And there are pleasures forevermore. Pleasures forevermore. Pleasures forevermore. Everything good you have missed in the past, pleasures forevermore. A new day has begun for you. New life has come up for you. The Lord is blessing you right now. He's turning everything around in your life right now. In Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. Look at verse 19 there. It says, repent therefore. Now, that repent doesn't mean that, you know, you begin to cry and cry and cry. And that's not repentance. Just to change your mind. Just turn around. You've been looking at this direction, and the direction is not bringing peace of mind. It's not bringing victory in your life. It's not bringing joy in your life. Repent. That just means turn away. You're looking at something that gives you depression, that gives you kind of weakness, kind of, that gives you like, uh, you know, you, you are almost you are going to die. That gives you unbelief, perceive God will never forgive you. Turn away from there and turn this other direction and your forgiveness is guaranteed in Jesus name your salvation is guaranteed in Jesus name and your healing your deliverance and your victory and your dominion guaranteed in Jesus name repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when you come to the Lord he blots out all your sins how many sins? He wipes them out. He cleans them up. And he doesn't even allow the remembrance of those sins anymore. And if you need that, all you need to do is turn around and face the Lord. And you have that in Jesus' name. And also, also, also your sickness, your sickness will be blotted out. All the consequences of sin will be blotted out. Everything you carry about, bad luck and this and that, everything blotted out tonight in Jesus' name. Then it says, when the times of refreshing, look at that, when the times of refreshing shall come from where? Talk, say it out. When refreshing, you've been dry, you've been sorrowful. It's like famine is going on in your life and in your family. No food to eat. And you look here 
they say we're in the same condition too. You've come to the presence of the Lord tonight. Go back home and receive abundance. Because we've come to the presence of the Lord. Everything negative, taken away. Everything oppressive, taken away. Everything that makes us cry and cry and cry, taken away in Jesus' name. Everything that makes you to say, I wonder, I, why this, why this? Everything blotted out tonight in Jesus' name. Because, 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 because the times, plural, the times, plural, of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. For you. For me. You got it today. For me, it will come in Jesus' name. Now, when I tell you to stand up, you will stand, don't stand yet, you will stand like you never stood. When I tell you, now pray, open your mouth and ask the Lord, you will pray and you will ask for what you have never asked for. When you stand, you stand not like somebody who is barely living, but almost collapsing. Look up. You stand. Stand right. Stand up. Stand well. And stand with confidence. Stand with joy, knowing that every problem you brought, every sickness you brought, every depression you brought, every negative thing you brought, everything is cleared away from your life now in Jesus' name. <laughs> tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord, what are you getting tonight? Why are you here tonight? What's the challenge? What's the problem that you have weighing you down today? Call upon the name of the Lord. With him, nothing shall be impossible. In him, no regret, no remorse, no loss, In his presence, no sickness can stand, no power can stand. You come to the presence of the Lord today. There's salvation in his presence, there's power in his presence. There's deliverance in his presence. Miracle in his presence. Authority in his presence. Tell him, tell him, tell him. What seest thou? You don't see barrenness anymore. You don't see fruitlessness anymore. You see well. You see salvation, you see well. You see forgiveness, you see well. Everything good, every good thing that you see will come upon your life. You see healing, you see well. It will be performed. Deliverance and dominion. Don't you see that? You see well. It will be performed. It will be done. I see wonders in your life. And if you see those wonders in your life, you have seen well. You have seen well. It will be done. No more crying, 
no more weeping. See well. See the promises performed in your life. See the goodness of God performed in your life. See the glory coming from on high in your life, in your family. You see well. And it will be done. You see great possibilities. You see well. It will be done. You repent of sin. You reject every evil. You turn away from every terrible, weakening, sinful habit in your life. And you say, I see forgiveness. You see well. You see well. It will be done. It will be done. I see God's favor. I see God's grace. I see divine ability coming into me so I can do what I've never been able to do before. You see, well. It will be done. No more like a dry rot. Now you're fruitful. Now you are successful. I see well. I see well. Believe it. It is done. Says, I put my word in your mouth. I've given you the power and the authority. Root out. Root it out. Every plant the Heavenly Father has not planted in your life, root it out. Pull it down. Pull it down. The Lord has marked you for progress, for success, for achievement, for joy. For victory, for dominion, for total freedom, anything standing there before you, pull it down. Destroy it. What Christ in you was come to destroy all the works of the devil. Destroy that thing. The word is in your mouth. Throw it down. Throw it down. Don't complain anymore. They will not allow me to succeed. They will not allow me to make it. You decide, you determine. You'll make it, and you will make it. You set you up to build, to plant, to achieve, to succeed. The word is right there.
whatever you have asked, know that it is done. Whatever you have rooted out, know it is rooted out. Whatever you have pulled down, know it is pulled down. Whatever you have destroyed, every work of the devil, know it is destroyed. Whatever you have thrown down, no more your body, no more your head, no more your life, no more your family. No, it is done. Healing, done. Deliverance, done. Authority, done. Dominion, done. Fruitfulness, done. Progress, done. Success, done. Health, confirmed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, Amen like never before. Amen. The Lord assures you that this night was because of you. Amen. And what he does now will not be a common, average, normal, day-to-day -day miracle. A special miracle. A special healing. A special deliverance. Something you never saw it in this fashion. And as I'm going back home, that miracle, wonder, will be bubbling inside your heart. Joy, joy, your heart will be full of joy. Your Savior dear is ever near. That's the reason why as you go back tonight, like no other night, there will be joy unspeakable in your heart. If you have prayed for forgiveness, the Lord has forgiven you. If you have prayed for restoration, the Lord has restored you. If you have prayed for victory, I don't want you to be falling into that, falling into that, the Lord has given you victory. If you have prayed for healing, you are supposed to go for maybe operation or whatever and say, I don't want that. I want to spend the money in another way. I am healed. You are healed. You are healed. They say depression, mental problem is almost flying in the air. And that people, because of what is happening here and there, they have depression, they have, uh, you know, brain, whatever, for you. Hearing my voice now, depression is gone in Jesus' name. They say there's a spirit, it's moving about everywhere, it's pushing this one, pushing this one, kill yourself. Pastor, I'm hearing that kind of voice too. That voice is silenced forever in Jesus' name. You're no more the man you used to be. You're no more the woman you used to be. You're no more the boy, the girl you used to be. Life has come. 
abundant life has come. Strong, strong, healthy life has now come. Confirmation in your life. Where are you? I praise God for you. I say somebody that will never remain the same as, as he ever was. As she ever was. I say somebody who was giving up. And I see you standing at the bottom of that ladder. I see you looking up. I will climb again. I failed in the past. Failure is rooted out. I will succeed again. Everybody, raise up that hand. There's a new day for everyone. Father, in Jesus' name. God of love, God of mercy, God of compassion, God of power. Lord, I bring everyone, young and old, men and women, I bring everyone before you now. Receive them in Jesus' name. Every sin of the past, every failure of the past, forgive them, cleanse them, wash them, blot them out in Jesus' name. Sickness of whatever name, sickness of whatever description, I command, be healed in Jesus' name. Every work of the devil, every curse, every pain, every recurring sickness, right now, from every life, I root it out in Jesus' name. From your lungs, that sickness is rooted out. From your liver, from your kidney, that sickness is rooted out. From your brain, from your blood vessel, that sickness rooted out in Jesus' name. The pain at the neck, the pain at the knee, the pain at the shoulder, rooted out now in Jesus' name. And all kinds of deformity, all kinds of play running in the family, in the family. Tonight is a night of authority and power. On your life, from your body, all that generational, whatever, I root everything out in Jesus' name. Peace in your heart. Peace in your brain. Peace in your system. Peace in your thoughts. And as you go home, you go a different man, a different woman, a different boy, a different girl. The failure is turned inside out. From this moment, success will follow you. Goodness will follow you. Divine energy is injected into you right now in Jesus' name. All those negative, negative, negative things, you couldn't even shake them up. They are protected away from your life. Healing, your God. Health, your God. Deliverance, you have God. Dominion, you have got. Provision, you have got. Promotion, you have got. 
and they desire to live and live and live well you've got it now in jesus name go back home with joy go back home with satisfaction go back home with power the word is now in your mouth any day any time you see something you don't appreciate in your life speak the word heaven will confirm your word we thank you lord because we know you have answered it is done it is done it is done in jesus name we pray Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. The miracle is done. We are, not, we are not through yet. We are not through yet. Check up yourself. The miracle is done. The miracle is done. The miracle is done. Check up yourself. Confirm what the Almighty God has done in your life. Prepare yourself. You have a testimony. And definitely you are going to share that testimony. Just check up yourself to confirm what God has done. Yes, we have received already. That one is sure. Check up yourself. Confirm. Confirm what the Lord has done. He has glorified himself. Where is that action of faith? Act it out. Let the action of faith show. The word of power is in us already. Act out your faith. And let God be glorified as you act out that your faith. The servant of the Lord has poured the blessing of heaven upon our soul. Just look around. Check that thing that was there before. Check that thing again. Check it again. You discover that it's no longer there. And as you discover the miracle, just give Jesus a shout of praise. For that mighty miracle. Shout of praise. That what the Lord has done. And we will rejoice together with you. And glorify his name. As we are checking up ourselves. For the miracle for what God has done. We are going to have our orchestra. To lead us into the mood of praising God. And worshiping him. For the mighty things. That the Lord has already done here tonight. Keep checking yourself.
done something in somebody's life I said as the Lord done something in somebody's life the Lord has blessed me I am as bold as a lion and our father in the Lord has told us whatsoever you speak from today it will happen because what's in you is the word of God and the Lord said he will hasten to perform that his word so don't be afraid speak the word but the miracle has taken place do you believe that do you believe that the miracle has taken place? Some people are already coming for interv to be interviewed. Something spectacular has happened here tonight. I said something spectacular has happened here tonight. Because this is the atmosphere of God's presence. And in his presence is the fullness of what? Joy. In his presence is the fullness of joy. Your joy will never cease in Jesus' name. I said your joy will never cease in Jesus' name. While we are waiting for the testimonies, we want to still have our orchestra praise God and worship him and in the midst of worship more miracles will be taking place Thank you. 
Jesus name now listen to testimonies online first somebody that I'm looking on television that never touched me just said their word and the word come to pass I started working I am Mrs. Chid Yokori I went to my shop one fair to full money I found out that I match poison this thing brought me up to six months. I cannot match them on the ground. Then they took me to a village where they brought many native daughters. Nothing is working out. My husband said that they should brought me back to Lagos. Then I came back to Lagos. I went, they take me to many churches. No one is working. This thing came from the ground like this, coming up, coming up at a stage. He came to my west. Then I cannot walk again. I cannot even sit down like this unless I lie down on the floor. I cannot sit down. Till one day, one fateful morning on Thursday, my younger brother, who is residing at First Stack, called me on phone. Say, Auntie, how are you? I say, I'm not fine. The thing is getting worse. I cannot walk. He said, Okay. Can you go to, can you go and look for, they are doing one program now. GCK program. Say I should ask, it must be around where I'm living. Which I did that very day. Then I went there with the faith. The man of God started preaching. As I was watching. After that, he said, put your hand this wherever you know is paining you. As he was praying. Then I placed one of my hand on my waist. I placed one on my knee. As he was praying, praying, praying. That I said, okay, exercise your faith. Check where he's paining you. Then I stood up. Gradually, gradually, gradually. Then I stood up. As I stood up, I moved one of my legs. I saw that I am fit. I moved the other one. I see add weight. I move, move, move again. I started jumping up. Calling my husband. I am walking. I can match my leg on the ground. It was a great miracle that brought crowd to the GCK crusade. I don't know that this leg, I can match it on the ground again. It's more than six months and I cannot walk. Upon all the money I spent, God did it for me without collecting one night. I'm campaigning from one street to another. That, that God we think that is not working. He's still working. Somebody that I'm looking on television that never touched me, just said a word and the word come to pass. I started working. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The word is still working. It is just the beginning. The word will start working mighty, mighty wonders in Jesus' name. Are you still checking up yourself? The miracle has been confirmed. No going back, no negotiation. The miracle is done. You have received according to the pronouncement of God's word through his own servant. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. And everybody said, yeah. I welcome you to Power Night tonight in Jesus' name. Yeah. It's a night of verifiable miracles yeah. in your life. Yeah. I see you, I see miracle. Yeah. Looking at you, I see the power of God coming upon your life. Yeah. Those who are here and those who are everywhere. As you hear the word of God tonight, know that this night in particular is for you. Yeah. And those on the internet and media, wherever you are, alone by yourself, and you are connecting, you are connecting with power tonight. Yeah. And look at you there, you and I tonight, we will not miss it in Jesus' name. 
Are you ready? Why don't you raise up that time? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight because you are going to touch your people. Miracles tonight. Power manifestation tonight. Deliverance tonight. Moving up mountains tonight. Verifiable miracles in every life. Confirm it to Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53, I read from verse 4. Surely, there's no doubt in the word of God. Surely, there's no doubt in the promises of God. Surely, there is no doubt in the manifestation of the power of God. Surely, he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken and smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. And he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Tell me what you see here. And with his stripes we are healed. Somebody there is going to be fulfilled in your life. With his stripes, we are healed. I'm looking at Matthew chapter 8, and I read from verse 16. Matthew chapter 8, verse 16. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out, and he cast out. Every negative thing tonight, cast out. Every oppression tonight, cast out. Every tormenting spirit tonight, cast out. Anything tormenting your life, hindering you from moving forward. Everything you have feared until today, they are cast out in Jesus' name. And he cast out the spirits with his word. And he healed how many of us? And he healed how many of us today? And he healed all that was sick. But why? Because they shouted. Because they had great faith. No, look at this. It says that it may be fulfilled. God is jealous over his word. And God is jealous over the prophecies that have been made. And he wants to make sure that every word of his that came out of his mouth is fulfilled. That's why you are here tonight. There's going to be a fulfillment tonight. In your family, a fulfillment. In your place of work, a fulfillment. The word of God will be yes and amen in your life tonight in Jesus' name. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Sarah the prophet, saying himself, himself, not an angel, himself, not a man, himself, Jesus Christ himself, took our infirmities and bear our sins.